What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for Awesomeo.com, and I am back with my NFL DFS contenders on DraftKings for Thursday Night Football, Cowboys and Saints. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comment section who's your favorite and least favorite of my contenders for tonight's slate. And finally, shout out to No House Advantage for being the presenting sponsor of this video. Use the promo code AWESOMO when signing up to get up to $25 on your first deposit. Now we're rounding out the bottom of my top 10 with Deontay Harris, Tony Pollard, Ezekiel Elliott, Dalton Schultz, and Amari Cooper on the outside looking in, who will be my favorites. My top five plays for today, it's time to find out. In first at number five, I'm looking at CD Lamb. He is 10K, projected for 14 and a half fantasy points. The Cowboys are four and a half point favorites with a 47 and a half point game total. They have the number three offense at PFF, but it's a tough spot. They're going up against the number five defense. CD Lamb has a 9% chance to go for more than 30 fantasy points, a 10% likelihood to be the optimal captain, and a 30% chance to be optimal at the utility spot. Add that all up, we get to 40% for CD Lamb. Not all that different from the number four spot or even the number six spot. You can see one, two, and three, very different tier. At number four, I'm going to Traquan Smith. He is 5,600, projected for 11 and a half fantasy points. The Saints, as I mentioned, four and a half point underdogs here. This is the number 29 ranked offense at PFF. Luckily for them, they get a matchup against the number 23 ranked defense. Now this isn't a big ceiling game. We're talking about a 4% chance to go for more than 30, a 7% likelihood to be the optimal captain. But when we go to Smith, we're looking for value. 35% likelihood to be optimal at the utility. That is enough to get him into the optimal lineup, 42%. He's the closest to the coin flip mark without going over in at number four. Now we take a massive jump up in tier, 11,800 for Dak Prescott, projected for almost 22 fantasy points. Difficult matchup in the aggregate, but in the grand scheme of things, I'm not super worried about it. There's not a lot of other opportunities to get a lot of fantasy points tonight. 19% chance that Dak goes for more than 30. 14% likelihood he's the optimal captain and another 54% at utility. Add that all up. 68% likelihood that Dak is in the optimal lineup. That is huge for the number three spot in the contenders. Way higher than it normally is. And we're going even higher for two and even higher for number one. At number two, we got to go to Taysom Hill. He is 9,600, projected for 22 fantasy points. And if he's going to have to be the quarterback, being the quarterback against the Cowboys is probably going to be a little bit better. 19% chance that Taysom Hill is in the optimal lineup. Sorry, 19% chance that he goes for more than 30 fantasy points. 21% at the captain, 51% at utility because 9,600, that price tag just works here. He's got a 73% overall chance to be in the optimal lineup. That's higher than Dak Prescott right now, thanks to that $9,600 salary, but it wasn't enough to get him to the number one spot. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder, like button, subscribe to the channel, notification bell so you know when it goes live. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman, and then hop in the comments section and let me know who your favorite contenders are. And finally, one last time, go check out No House Advantage, the presenting sponsor of this video. Assuming Alvin Kamara does not play, 5K Mark Ingram is your number one contender, projected for around 17 fantasy points. He's going to be involved in this game one way or the other if Kamara is in. Just a 7% chance to go for more than 30, but that's okay. This is a value opportunity. There's a 17% chance that Mark Ingram is optimal at the captain and a 65% chance that he's optimal at utility. That's almost the entire optimal odds for Dak Prescott. 83% chance if Alvin Kamara is out that Mark Ingram is in the optimal lineup. That is very clearly the number one play on the slate. And you're going to need probably two out of the three of my top three. That's kind of scary. Wouldn't be surprising to need all three. And because of salaries, it's pretty easy to do. But for right now, Mark Ingram is the guy you want the most. My number one contender. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NFL DFS contenders on DraftKings for Thursday Night Football, Saints and Cowboys. There's a FanDuel version of this video around here somewhere. Check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. We'll be back again tomorrow morning for my NFL Top Fives.